So I plan on doing a speculation video on Vega versus Volta, but when I stumbled across an article that showed the incredible overclocking of the Ryzen 7 1700, I had to share. Stay tuned. <laughs> So PC Per and actually a few others have released some amazing results on overclocking performance of the 1700. Let's just say it pretty much makes Ryzen 1700 the absolute best price to performance of any CPU by a large margin. I know, I know, a ton of hype building words, but it is impressive to say the least. Okay, I'll get to the point, sorry. I actually did a video not too long ago on Ryzen 1700 allegedly hitting 4.05 GHz with water cooling. Let's just say I was beginning to think it may not have been all that substantiated. It now seems it may have been the case, but it actually gets better. PC Per was able to, using a software preset, yes, automatically, overclock the 1700 to 4 GHz on all cores. Wait for it with air cooling. Now, don't go out and buy a 1700 right this very second, let's discuss as there are a couple caveats. So what did he do? For one, he used the Noctua NH U12S cooler, which is one of the best fan coolers on the market and comes in at a hefty $57.99, but he was able to take the $329 CPU to compete and even really beat Intel's $1000 contenders at their core clock speed. Now, I do really want to point out that this isn't overclocking Intel CPUs, so it's not exactly that fair. But the fact that you can get anywhere near and actually have better overclocking headroom than most of the overclocking potential of the $1000 6900K, that's nothing to scoff at. Really, we already knew price to performance was king when it came to AMD's offerings, but if you compare it to the 1800X, it's the same. And according to his graph, even slightly better performance for over $100 less, which includes the price of the cooler. Of course, if the 1800X can get the same overclock, we'd be talking, but it doesn't seem to be capable of too much more beyond 4 GHz itself. The biggest key to his success appears to be a Zeus, as it was while playing in BIOS that a 4 GHz overclock profile was found. Take note that he had updated the BIOS, but it's not clear if the settings were there before or after. All he had to do was enable the option in BIOS, and after restarting, all the cores are running at 4 GHz. I will note that I've seen some others claiming to have done it with other motherboards, but manually. Now here comes two of the biggest issues. And the first is something many don't discuss too often when it comes to overclocking, and is actually the case for all chips. And it's definitely a topic of relevance. The voltage was shown in CPU-Z to go anywhere from 1.417 volts to 1.482 volts. He really wasn't sure if it was all that accurate. Either way, the issue is that these are quite high for AMD's chips, and it's certainly probable that it would shorten the lifespan of the chip, but by how much is unclear. The temps were only hitting 73 degrees under full load, but it wasn't clear as to how accurate this was, though there was no issues with it at all throughout the various tests he did. The second problem was the power draw. The chip comes with a 65 watt TDP, but was running at 214.1 watts at load. That's a 106 watt difference. Idle had it running a nice 44.7 watts, but when it cranked up, the CPU definitely pulled a ton of juice. But with both of those downsides in mind, it's clear the 1700 is an incredible price to performance bargain, which really seems to be the case with most of AMD's new line of CPUs. But what do you think of AMD's Ryzen chips? It is unfortunate that they aren't beating Intel's offerings, but they're definitely forcing Intel to rethink the way that they're doing their CPUs and pricing and all of their structures. I'm going to be discussing Vegas soon as well, and have some really awesome content coming, including some new Ryzen 4 core performance, so definitely subscribe to stay up to date on that. I'm also going to include a link in the description to the PC Per article for more information. It's really great stuff, and I definitely want to give credit where credit is due. I actually don't cite enough, and I definitely want to remedy that. I'll also have an affiliate link to all the hardware I discussed, and PC Per has links over on their article as well, so if you want to support them, great idea. Either way, really hope you liked the video, and as always, have a great day.